Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Ishwar, Lead Consultant Obstetrics Gynecology, Laparoscopic Surgeon, Robotic Surgeon at Astra RV Hospital, JP Naga, Bangalore. Cervical incompetence is one of the conditions a pregnant woman can face with a very devastating results. Cervix. So what is cervix? Cervix is the mouth of the uterus which holds on to the pregnancy till term and at the term undergoes certain changes to allow the normal delivery to happen. Now, in certain women, the cervix may not be very strong enough to hold the pregnancy up till term. Length of the cervix is not an indicator for the strength of the cervix. So, as a doctor, we will not be able to predict this condition beforehand. Unfortunately, most of the time, this condition is diagnosed retrospectively. That means when already the mother or the expectant mother has had a loss of pregnancy. But in certain conditions, we can diagnose this during the index pregnancy when we notice that there is some cervical changes in a scan, which we call it as funneling or shortening of the cervix, or the patient is having abnormal discharge without having any lower abdominal pain. Now, how to tackle this situation? As already told that it is a retrospective diagnosis most of the time. Then in next pregnancy, we do follow certain uh, techniques to prevent this loss. Other than the general advice where we advise them not to undertake stressful activity, travel, we also put them on progesterone tablets. Apart from this, we do a special procedure called a cervical encyclage. Cervical encyclage can both be vaginal or abdominal. But in pregnancy, if the patient has had only one pregnancy loss, most of the gynecologists prefer to put a vaginal cervical encyclage. The cervix has a two part, one which is protruding inside the vagina and one which is above the vagina. So the part of the cervix which is seen in the vagina can be sutured with permanent uh, suture materials giving some strength to the cervix. This prevents the pregnancy loss in up to 50 to 60 percent of the cases. In certain women, we would directly prefer to do a laparoscopic cervical encyclage. In women who has undergone what is called a cervical amputation, very short cervix in the vagina where we do a speckle internal examination and find that the cervix length is only one or two centimeters in the vagina. Or who already had a cervical encyclage in her last pregnancy and has failed to continue the pregnancy up till term. Laparoscopic cervical encyclage can be done in a two different ways. One before pregnancy which we call it as interpregnancy cervical encyclage or <coughs> during pregnancy. Someone who has had a very bad uh, pregnancy outcome who wants to conceive can undergo this procedure called as laparoscopic cervical encyclage and then try for pregnancy. But we do get many patients who have already conceived with a previous history of pregnancy loss or with the previous failed cervical encyclage. In this situation, we do put laparoscopic cervical encyclage which is undertaken between 13 to 16 weeks of gestation. What are the precautions after cervical encyclage? After cervical encyclage, we advise the patient to follow the normal routine of their life. They do not have to take extended bed rest or complete elevation of the foot end so that they are avoid the loss. With extended bed rest or absolute bed rest, the complication of pregnancies do increase than helping the women. Following the cervical encyclage, patient can do their normal routine of work. We only advise them to avoid strenuous work, long travel and also advise not to have sexual intercourse as this can predispose to infection. Do this patient have to take antibiotic throughout the pregnancy? Not really necessary. We can always do a vaginal examination and see if there is any infection and then treat accordingly. To a large extent, <coughs> the mid trimester pregnancy loss because of cervical incompetence can be prevented by this very good technique of laparoscopic cervical encyclage. Do consult with your obstetrician to decide which method of cervical encyclage will be really helpful for them to realize their dream of having a healthy child in their hand. Thank you.